So I'm supposed to go down to Florida next week after we're done here. That's where all my uh, relatives live. I don't really want to go. Florida, a lot of old people down there. You know, they live in those minimum security prisons. That's where they put all the old people. What's with all the security there with the guard gate, with the arm coming down, everyone's got a uniform, guns? Are the old people trying to escape or are people stealing old people? What is the security problem? I just can't drive around there. You know how the old people drive? They drive slow, they sit low. That is their motto. State flag of Florida should be just a steering wheel with a hat and two knuckles on it. And that left turn signal on for when they left the house that morning. That's a legal turn in Florida. It's known as an eventual left. You can signal this week, turn any following year of your life. What is that age that old people reach where they decide when they back out of a driveway, they're not looking anymore? You know how they do that? They just go, well, I'm old and I'm coming back. I survived, let's see if you can. One thing I do like about being with uh, my older relatives is it makes me feel like a kid again. You know, they're feeding you. You're trying to steal candy. <laughs> candy was my whole life when I was a kid. That was the first 10 years of my life. I think the only clear thought I had was get candy. <laughs> that was it. Family, friends, school. They're just obstacles in the way of the candy. I'm out for the candy here. I'm just thinking, get candy, get candy, get candy, get candy, get candy. That's why you have to teach kids not to take candy from a stranger if they're playing in a playground because they're such candy moron idiot brains they're just this man has candy i'm going with him goodbye i don't care what happens to me get candy get candy get candy get candy don't go they'll torture you they'll kidnap you it doesn't matter he has an old henry i have to take that chance get candy get candy get candy so the first time you hear the the concept of halloween when you're a kid your brain can't even process the information you can you're like what, what is this? What did you say? So what did you say about giving out candy? Who was giving out candy? Everyone that we know is just giving out candy? Are you kidding me? When is this happening? Where? Why? Take me with you. I, I gotta be a part of this. I'll do anything that they want. I can wear that. <laughs> I'll wear anything I have to wear. I'll do anything I have to do to get the candy from those fools that are so stupidly giving it away. So the first couple of years, I made my own costumes, which of course suck, the ghost, the hobo, no good. <laughs> then finally, third year, begging the parents, got the Superman Halloween costume, not surprisingly. <laughs> Cardboard box, cellophane top, mask included. Remember the rubber band on the back of that mask? That was a quality item there, wasn't it? That was good for about 10 seconds before it snapped out of that cheap little staple they put it in there with. You go to your first house, trick or snap, it broke, I don't believe it. Wait up, you guys, I gotta fix it. Hey, wait up! Wait up! That's what kids say, they don't say wait. They say, wait up! Hey, wait up! Because when you're little, your life is up. The future is up. Everything you want is up. Wait up, hold up, shut up. <laughs> Mom, I'll clean up. Let me stay up. <laughs> Parents, of course, are just the opposite. Everything is down. Just calm down. <laughs> Slow down. Come down here. Sit down. Put that down. So I had my little costume, I was physically ready, I was preparing myself. I did not try on the costume prior to Halloween. Do you remember this? This is an obscure one, but... On the side of the box, I remember this, on my Superman costume, it actually said, do not attempt to fly. <laughs> they printed that as a warning, because kids were putting it on and going off the roof. You know. I love the idea of the kid who's stupid enough to think he actually is Superman, but smart enough to check that box before he goes off the roof. 
Wait, let me see if it says anything about me being Superman. Oh, wait a second here. I... So anyway, but my hopes were up. I was thinking that this is probably the same exact costume that Superman wears himself. And you put these things on, it's not exactly the super fit that you are hoping for. It looks more like Superman's pajamas is what it looks like. It's all kind of loose and flowing and the neckline kind of comes down about there. <laughs> Flimsy little ribbon string in the back. Plus my mother makes me wear my winter coat over the costume anyway. <laughs> I don't recall Superman wearing a jacket. <laughs> Not like I had cheap corduroy, phony fur. Boy, I'm Superman, but it's a little chilly out, and I'm glad I've got this cheap little 10-year-old kid's jacket. So I'm going out, I'm trick-or-treating, but the mask, the rubber band keeps breaking, it keeps getting shorter. I'm fixing it, it's getting tighter and tighter on my face. You know when it starts slicing into your eyeballs there, and you... You're trying to breathe through that little hole. <laughs> Getting all sweaty. I can't see, I can't breathe. We gotta keep going, we gotta get the candy. <laughs> and a half hour into it, you just take that mask. Oh, the hell with it. Bing bong, yeah, it's me, give me the candy. Yeah, I'm Superman, look at the pant legs. What do you care? Remember those last couple years, trick-or-treating, getting a little too old for it? Still out there, going through the motions. Bing bong, come on, lady, let's go. Halloween doorbells, candy, let's pick it up in there. Come to the door, they always ask you those same stupid questions. What are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be done by now. You want to move it along with the Three Musketeers? I got 18 houses on this block, sweetheart. Just hit the bag, we hit the road. That's the way it works. Sometimes they give you that little white bag twisted on the top. You know, that's gonna be some crap candy. Doesn't have the official Halloween markings on it. Hold it, lady, wait a second. What is this, the orange marshmallow shaped like a big peanut? Do me a favor, you keep that one. Yeah, we have all the door stops we need already, thank you. We're going for name candy only this year. Food is so complicated as an adult, it's just, you see people in the supermarket, they're just sweating it out. Nobody knows, what do I eat? The protein, the carbs, the fat content. Oh my God, fat content. They're just walking up to each other, you look pretty good, what are you eating? Maybe I'll eat that. <laughs> the whole supermarket itself is designed to break down your sense of having any life outside the supermarket. It's like a casino, there's no clocks, no windows, no easily accessible exits. You ever not buy anything in the supermarket and try and get out of there? It's impossible. There's no way out. You can see what happens to people. When they're walking up to the supermarket, they really have a whole sense of purpose. I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that, I'm going to pay for it, I'm going to get out of here and get right back to my normal life. You see that same person ten minutes later just... What aisle is this? Why did I come up here? Oh, he's noticing something new. Oh, they got him in mesquite flavor now. What is mesquite? Wonder if it's made from mosquitoes. Produce section I always find very challenging. There's always some special thing you're supposed to know, you know, about each fruit. Summertime, make sure your peaches are, I don't know, whatever it is. You gotta fake it, you know, I'm shaking stuff, holding it up to the light. Yeah, that's a good one. Sure glad I found that one. Cantaloupes, roll them down the aisle. See the way that's fading left? That one's not ready. I don't want that one. I'm very impressed with this uh, seedless watermelon product that they have for us. They've done it. We now have seedless watermelon. Pretty amazing. What are they planting to grow the seedless watermelon, I wonder? The melons aren't humping, are they? They must be planting something. How does this work? 
And what kind of scientists do this type of work? I read a thing, it was 15 years in development. In the laboratories with, you know, gene splicing or whatever they do there, I don't know. I mean, other scientists working on AIDS, cancer, heart disease, these guys are going, no, I'm going to devote myself to melon. <laughs> I think that's much more important. Sure, thousands are dying needlessly, but this, that's got to stop. <laughs> when you ever try and pick up a wet one off the floor, it's almost impossible. <laughs> I really think we should devote the money to these studies. Milk is a big problem for people in the supermarket. They're never quite sure if they have it, if they need it. They bury it way in the back in the supermarket. You gotta find it, you gotta hack your way through all the displays. Well, ah, there it is. There's the milk. Do we have any milk? People are never really sure if they have milk. You think you have milk, we might have milk. I know there's a carton in there. I don't know how much is in there. Well, what should we do? Because you want to be sure. There's nothing worse than thinking you have milk and not having it. You know, you got the bowl set up, the cereal, the spoon, the napkin, the TV, the newspaper, everything's ready to go. You go to lift up the carton and it's too light. Huh? Oh no! Too light. Or sometimes you think you need milk. Hey, we better pick up some milk. Like many of you are thinking right now. You know, he's right. Maybe we should pick up some milk. So you'll pick up some milk on the way home. And then you'll discover you already had milk. And now you got way too much milk. That's no good either. Now it's a race against the clock with the expiration date. That freaky thing. Now you're eating giant punch bowls of cereal, three meals a day. You're washing your face with milk. Bringing cats in from all over the neighborhood. Hurry up and drink it. Come on, it's almost time. Get back over here, yeah. How do they know that that is the definite exact day? You know, they don't say like it's in the vicinity, give or take, roughly. They brand it right into the side of the cart and then they, <laughs> that's your goddamn day right there. Oh, don't screw with us. We know what day is the final day. And then it is so old. You ever have milk the day after the day? Scares the hell out of you, doesn't it? The spoon is trembling as it comes out of the bowl. It's after the day! I'm taking a big chance! I smell it, you smell it, what is it supposed to smell like? It smelled like milk to me! I don't know how they're so definite though. Maybe the cows tip them off when they're milking them. <laughs> July 3rd. To me, the only thing tougher than the uh, supermarket is the drugstore. The drugstore is really challenging because you have no idea what they're talking about. You know, you're just looking at ingredients. I had a cold a couple weeks ago. So I go in there and I'm looking, it's just like, the entire wall is cold medication. You know, and you can't understand anything. So you're just reading ingredients. You ever catch yourself reading ingredients in a drugstore? Oh, this has 0.03 tetrahydrosoline. That's a good amount of that. But it's so hard to figure out. Sometimes, you know, they have like, this one's quick acting, this one's long lasting. Hmm, when do I need to feel good? Now or later? I don't know. They always tell you how the medicine works on TV. You know the commercials? That's my favorite part where the guy says, uh, here's the human body. It's always this guy. You know this guy? No face, mouth open. This is how drug companies see the public. And he's always got the tube coming down here and then the circle area. These are the complex inner workings of the human body, I assume. I'm sure when you go to medical school, they put that up on the board the first day. Okay, everyone, now remember, you've got your tube coming down from the mouth, and that goes into your circle area. That's pretty much all.